In order to avoid the substance of what was found in John Podesta's emails that were leaked by WikiLeaks, well, Clinton campaign operatives typically pivot to Russia and they say nobody should be looking at the contents of these emails because we were the victims of a Russian cyber attack. Now, they do this to avoid criticism and they're making this really huge claim about Russia, but they're not citing any evidence. Now, they will say that 17 government agencies have in fact confirmed that it is Russian operatives who did hack into John Podesta's emails. Now, when we ask them to present any reports or show us any evidence, we get nothing. And we now know that there's a specific reason for that. It's because the evidence is sparse, because John Podesta wasn't hacked by Russian hackers. He was the victim of a phishing scam like many Americans are. Salon explains, how did alleged hackers get access to the email account of John Podesta, the chair of Hillary Clinton's campaign? Well, apparently, he just gave them his password. This is according to a leading cybersecurity firm, which says Podesta fell for a simple phishing scam frequently used in spam mail. A researcher at the company SecureWorks told Motherboard that Podesta was sent an email on March 19th that appeared to have come from Google. In the email was a link using Bitly, an Earl shortening service. Podesta clicked on this link, which took him to a fake Google page where he then typed in his login information. According to the cybersecurity firm, this is how the email account of former Secretary of State Colin Powell was also hacked. The alleged hackers appear to later have sent Podesta's emails to the whistleblowing journalism organization WikiLeaks, which has published them this month in installments. WikiLeaks says it has 50,000 messages to and from Podesta and has published roughly 2,000 per day. So just to clarify, what a phishing scam is. Typically, you'll get a really scary looking email that will say you need to reset your password right now because your account's been hacked. And then you'll click on that link to reset your password. You'll give them your username and your password. And then what happens? They steal your information. It's called phishing. John Podesta fell for it. Now, I can't fault him for that because this happens to many people. But this shows that Russian hackers did not hack into John Podesta's emails. Now, we don't necessarily know whether or not it was Russians or Russian hackers that carried out this phishing scam, but regardless of who did it, we now know that the Kremlin did not directly hack into John Podesta's emails as the Clinton campaign has consistently implied was the case. And so what's particularly troubling about this is that Hillary Clinton and her campaign are willing to further deteriorate relations between the U.S. and Russia, all so that way they can divert criticism away from them and try to get it onto Vladimir Putin. I mean, they've called Julian Assange and Donald Trump puppets of Vladimir Putin, when, again, they've presented zero evidence to confirm that Russia did carry out this cyber attack on John Podesta. And so when you have Hillary Clinton stating that she's going to deal with cybersecurity threats militarily and specifically calls out people like Vladimir Putin, Russia, China, North Korea, you have a problem here. Someone who's willing to risk war or even just deteriorating relations between countries, all because they're afraid that their corruption will be exposed, is not someone who is going to serve at the behest of the American people. They're looking out for themselves, and this is proof right here. To fall for a phishing scam, this isn't something that's uncommon. It happens all the time, and these hackers who do these types of things, they typically target older people who don't necessarily use technology as often as younger generations, so they're kind of vulnerable in that regard, and I can, you know, I can sympathize with him when you look at it from that angle, but at the same time, the fact that these were obtained by scammers, that doesn't change the content of what's within them, and since they're out there for the public, I think that we have a right to know. And look, these emails have revealed very troubling things. Some evidence of overt corruption with Hillary Clinton and the Clinton Foundation and the State Department. It's revealed that her campaign was in contact with the Department of Justice during the FBI investigation that was looking into her emails. It revealed that Hillary Clinton is colluding with the media, and this is all very problematic and spells trouble for our democracy. So, I mean, if you're in the mainstream media, it's time you call them out, because we have evidence that directly contradicts what they are claiming. And even if it were the case that Russia did hack into John Podesta's emails, you can't keep saber-rattling against Russia to avoid criticism, Hillary. It's just, it's unethical.